I strongly believe in the need for a tough response to the use of chemical weapons. The eyes to the right, 272. The nose to the left, 285. Yeah. They said no to intervention in Syria because they regretted what they'd done in Iraq. Sir John Chilcott will detail what went wrong when Tony Blair sent British forces to Basra in 2003. But many Syrians say they need the British to help defend them against the regime of Bashar al-Assad. People in Syria are definitely paying for the mistakes that uh, were made in, in, in Iraq. Look at what are the results of not intervening in Syria. What do you have in Syria right now? You have uh, an illegitimate regime, you have a failed state, and you have Syria uh, has become a safe haven for uh, terrorist groups, especially ISIS and al Nusra. So that's the outcome of not intervening in Syria. But Syria's agony can also be blamed on the debacle in the neighboring state. The toppling of Saddam Hussein changed the balance of power in the region and fueled sectarianism. <laughs> Iraqis were enthusiastic about their new democracy, but elections inevitably favored the Shia majority, and many new leaders abused their newfound power, angering Sunnis, especially in their stronghold of Fallujah, where American forces fought Sunni fighters in 2004. It was the most intense combat they'd seen since Vietnam. The rise of the Islamic State has its roots in that battle and its aftermath. The Iraq war was justified to the public as part of the war on terror, part of the pushback against Al-Qaeda internationally after 9-11. But ISIS, as a specific organisation, uh, was heavily influenced by the occupation of Iraq. Many of its leaders uh, seem to have actually met in US prisons under uh, the US occupation of Iraq. Amongst them, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the leader of IS in today's self-proclaimed caliphate of Iraq and Syria. This is Fallujah today. Iraqi forces have just driven out IS. The Americans and British provided airstrikes, but no ground forces. Not fighting the dictator Assad as we fought Saddam, but trying to defeat the Islamic State, a threat to us, a threat our intervention in Iraq helped create.